In America, we have plenty of well-known rights. The right to say what we want, the right to bear arms, the right to not incriminate ourselves in court. But what about the right to a house? In the 1940s, a psychologist named Abraham Maslow put forward his theory of the hierarchy of needs, the stuff all human beings need to survive. At the base of the pyramid, the things most crucial to survival are food, water, sleep, and shelter. How important in the hierarchy of needs is shelter? I would argue that uh, shelter is among the most important. If we do housing well, that means that healthcare outcomes improve. Mm -hmm. That means public safety improves. Mm -hmm. That means employment outcomes improve. That means education outcomes improve. We're able to make use of some of our great education resources if we've got families in stable housing. If you apply that idea today, it means that more than half a million people in this country on any given night are going without one of the most basic things they need to survive. A housing crisis has turned into a very visible problem for the city of Minneapolis. For the last couple of days, we've all been feeling the brutally cold weather, but imagine if you didn't have a place to live. You didn't have heat. That is the actual reality for about 200 men, women, and children who are living at a homeless encampment. How did that happen? How did the encampment happen? Yeah, so the, the what we saw last year at Franklin and Hiawatha, first of all, was really one, I mean, one way of looking at that is that it was a concentration and a gathering of something that is happening every night across the city now. People started to gather on that spot. Um, it, was, it was organic, it was, you know, word of mouth. And, you know, 10 tents became 20 tents, became 40 tents, yeah. uh, became more than 100 tents. Many countries across the world have decided a situation like this is unacceptable and they've put in place countless laws and programs basically saying a safe place to live is a fundamental human right, right up there with the freedom of religion and all the others. That got us thinking, if we made America from scratch today, is this something that we would take up? When our country was founded on the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, what kind of life did the founding fathers think that we all had a right to? Two centuries ago, land was cheap, and homes were something you built yourself out of logs and mud. Today, housing is driven by economics. And if you want a home, you need to buy into the system, often at levels average people can't afford. Which has led to the creation of countless nonprofit and humanitarian organizations that are trying to give everyone a housing option, regardless of their income. We have been successful in rehousing thousands of households. Wow. In our country, what, what we suffer from is actually the fact that as we are doing that work with an individual or a family, there is another one down the street who is getting pushed out of housing. The problem is, is that their, their folks are losing housing at a slightly higher rate than we are rehousing them. Ah. But in a country where the self-made, self-sufficient person is held as the gold standard, there are plenty of reasons people don't believe housing is a right. Is there a stigma that people with housing uh, have in regards of homelessness that they, they just don't know about homelessness? Like when we think about homelessness, we just think, oh, this person doesn't have a house. Yeah. What is, what is a way to clear that stigma up or get people educated to what exactly homelessness is? Yeah, that's a, a fabulous question and I'm glad you asked. This sort of crisis, as we were talking about the types of crisis we were talking about before, it can, it can affect you know, many, many people. When I look at what folks who are staying with our shelter, at our shelter here, what their path looks like versus mine, um, oftentimes I think about the crises that I've been able to navigate yeah. and the difference between my situation and theirs was very simply that I had a family that was able to step in and support me when I yeah. was when I was in crisis mm -hmm. and that is sometimes the, the only difference um, for folks so uh, I would say volunteering um, getting into uh, into shelters and into places where services being offered is the is the absolute best way uh, to eliminate that stuff. A group of tents first showed up about a month ago along a wall next to Hiawatha Avenue near Franklin Avenue. Here's what it looks like today. Most of the people staying at the Wall of Forgotten Natives homeless encampment are American Indian. The city council on Wednesday approved a site where temporary shelters will be set up with the goal of getting the camp's residents into more stable long-term housing. You already said that this has already been happening anyways. Exactly. It did, was this situation just something that became visible to the public? In, in, largely, yes. There was also, obviously, a very significant Native um, movement, the Native community saying, hey, this is, this is, this is our, our land, technically, um, that we're being evicted from yeah. and not being, you know, not being able to get into. And, and, and we, wanna, we want people to know that. We want that to be heard. Though it's been made into an incredibly complex and contentious issue here, there are other places in the world where homelessness has been all but eradicated. 
in Finland that has meant providing a home for everyone, an effort called Housing First. Housing First has been employed by the United States too, though not on a nationwide scale like Finland. What is Housing First? Housing First is a evidence-based practice that we have in the United States um, where, whereby there are no preconditions put on someone entering housing. Since 2007, homelessness across our country has decreased by more than 14%, according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Critics worry this kind of effort could place the burden on people who are already housed, as well as create unsafe residential areas. And we need to tackle the other elephant in the room the many reasons from chemical dependency to mental health issues that prevent people from staying in housing even when it's provided. In order to understand it, you really have to take a step back for a second and think about what it is to be homeless. One of the things that, that we like to try and help people uh, think about to understand the issue is if, if you think about things that are hard in life as a housed person to deal with. So if you've got um, someone in your family who's dealing with substance abuse issues, mm -hmm. um, if you've got mental health things or, or physical health things happening within your families, yeah. those are all very challenging things to deal with yeah. in a stably housed family, in a stably housed setting, in a community. Fair enough? Yeah. Um, you take away the stability of housing and those things become damn near impossible to yeah. deal with. Critics of this approach often say it costs too much. But to be fair, we need to talk about how much money we're spending on those who don't have homes, on things like public safety, emergency room visits, and other crisis services. If we remove the crisis, could we actually save money? Do you believe that we can end homelessness? Um, so that, those, were, that, those were bold words that I first heard probably about 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know uh, is the answer to that question. What I do know is that resolving homelessness on an individual basis is really not rocket science. Mm -hmm. um, the answer to how do we get people, you know, how, do we, how do we solve for homelessness is yeah. housing. Mm -hmm. And it's housing with the right amount of services, the right type of services for the right amount of time depending on each, each person's situation. Do you think the U.S. should provide a roof over everyone's head? Or would that cause more problems for U.S. cities? Let us know in the comments.